I am trying out intermittent fasting. Today, my wife said to the game. Good morning. Today is one of those beautiful days where the sun is shining and I am feeling good. I haven't vlogged in a while, but I am going to be back doing more regular vlogs, which I'm so excited about. So this morning I got up, I made a green tea, hung out with Shay, we played, we went for our morning walk and he is just down now for a nap. I haven't had breakfast. That is the one thing I haven't done yet and there is a reason behind that. So I am trying out intermittent fasting at the moment. I've dabbled with it, I've done like a day or two in a row here and there, but I thought I'd challenge myself to do 10 days to really see if it works. Now people are raving about it from increased energy to more brain focus to reducing their digestive problems to reducing their PCOS problems. I mean the lists are endless, there's so much research done on it, research done on it and I want to see if it works for me. I have noticed when I've done like two days in a row how I feel so much less bloated and actually quite good. It's just sticking to it. But I thought 10 days is a good amount of time to really give it a proper go. So I had dinner last night at about sort of 6.37 um, and then it's 9 o'clock now so I'm going to do some yoga, some meditation and then make some breakfast and break my fast. That's what I'm most excited about. <laughs> oh, feels so good. Yoga, meditation. Just heaven, isn't it? It's just the best. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't have enough time to do it. But do you know what, today I just carved out 20 minutes, 15 minutes on the mat, five minutes on the sofa, job done, heaven. Right, time to make breakfast. So I've left about a 14 hour fast. Now intermittent fasting varies. For some people it's 12 hours. So that's 12 hours between dinner and breakfast. Um, for some people they do 15 to 16 hours, but I'm building myself up there. So I'm just doing 14 today um, and Intermittent fasting isn't about skipping a meal, so it's not about like skipping breakfast, it's about condensing your meals into a specific time and having a big gap between your dinner and your breakfast. Um, it's interesting actually, I've noticed that I'm not necessarily hungry first thing in the morning as I used to be, which is really nice, it's nice not being a slave to your stomach, um, but I'm feeling quite hungry now. So I'm going to make some avocado on toast, because it's the best. Right, breakfast is done and I'm just going to take some supplements. So I'm taking this Rhythm High Potency Coconut Kefir, which is a fermented coconut yogurt. And it's got 20 billion strains of bacteria. How freaking awesome is that? I'm also going to be taking um, a, preg well, it's a pregnancy omega-3 and vitamin D. And I'm not pregnant, but I've still got it left over. And it's really good because it combines um, lots of omega-3, but also with vitamin D, which is so important to supplement with. So I'm going to take these together. Right, breakfast done, supplements done, time to have a shower. I'm using this Elemis um, targeted toning body moisturizer today. I was kindly gifted it. I'm really excited to use it just to tone up my booty. <laughs> this morning I'm wearing this James Purse dress. It's pretty old. Sorry guys, I don't buy clothes that often. Um, but I will link something similar down below. It's just really comfy, easy, casual for the day. So throughout the day, I'm trying to drink about six to eight glasses of water and then 
I keep drinking uh, a few cups of tea as well just to keep hydrated sometimes I think in the day you think that you're hungry and you're like I should have a snack but actually you're thirsty so I'm trying to keep the hydration up mm. okay glass of water and I'm gonna do my makeup before Shay wakes up <laughs> did a little bit of casual makeup, just some tinted moisturiser, um, a little bit of concealer to hide those bags, um, some lipstick from Bobbi Brown and mascara which was Charlotte Tilbury. Just brush this very knotty hair. I she had the knottiest hair, like ever since I got pregnant and gave birth, my hair just like mats. I've been using a few different things to help but I've not found like the number one product so leave me a comment down below if you've got tangly hair and <laughs> you know what to use and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed then i would love you to be subscribed so hit that subscribe button right shay's still sleeping so i'm just gonna tidy the house prep his food get on with my day so for shay's lunch i'm just steaming some broccoli and i'm gonna boil some potatoes as well make some homemade hummus i just love having homemade hummus in the fridge just something that like the whole family can snack on and I tend to kind of make meals that we can both eat together I just think it's easier so I'm gonna do the whole thing of broccoli including the stalk there's no point wasting this it's like delicious the bottom bit I've got to reduce that food waste so chuck it all in So this is typically what Shay will eat, it will be like a mixture of kind of finger food as well as like a bit of mush <laughs> from the hummus. Sometimes I'll just do like a one pot, like a chicken stew or a veggie stew or something like that for him. Um, but at lunchtime I try and do like a few bits and bobs. So I just made the homemade hummus, I just served that with some avocado as well that you can mush in. Uh, I'm not going to focus on Shay's meals too much in this vlog, but if you want to see a what Shay eats in a week video, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely make one. Um, obviously, I'll be like posting some of his meals because we, we kind of cook together and eat together quite a lot of the time, but let me know if you want a specific video. Yeah, I'm looking good and colourful. So for lunch I'm going to have a spinach, smoked mackerel, tomato hummus and broccoli salad. So it's about 2 o'clock so I have breakfast at 10, I'm going to have lunch at 2 and then I'm going to try and eat around 6, 7 o'clock um, just to kind of keep my meals in the right times. days I'm going to be seeing how intermittent fasting helps me in a few particular areas. First is going to be energy because that is what people rave about. Second is digestion um, because again that's something people say it really helps with IBS and something that I particularly suffer with. Uh, and the third thing is just general kind of well-being and feeling good and feeling nourished and not kind of feeling like you need to keep snacking all the time. So those are the three things that I'm going to kind of be looking at. I'd say at the moment my energy on day one is like six, seven out of ten. Um, my, dish, my digestion hasn't been the best and I know that's because I'm a real picker and it's something I'm working on which is like I eat meals but then I just like pick random bits like Shay's food or like snacks throughout the day which when you eat when you're standing it doesn't digest properly. So it causes like gas and bloating in your stomach so it's a habit I'm really trying to kick. Um, and then general well-being, probably quite good, I'd say, mm, like a 7, 8 out of 10. So we'll see how I go through the week. I'll be monitoring how I'm feeling each day, like what's going well, what's not going well. And we'll see what this intermittent fasting thing's all about. Morning! Day 2 out of 10 of intermittent fasting. Um, not gonna lie, I didn't sleep that well last night. I googled it this morning, apparently it's quite common when you change your diet 
change anything in your life you know when you go on holiday change routine um your sleep often uh, gets affected so hopefully i'll be sleeping better this week because i hate not sleeping well it's just the worst isn't it anyway apart from the sleep feeling okay not too hungry this morning i'm gonna wait a little bit longer and then make some blueberry porridge um and i'll keep you updated with how i'm feeling in the day i'm still continuing to do like a 14 hours between uh, meals because i feel like that's the magic number for me at the moment day three intermittent fasting now i feel like yesterday just didn't go very well <laughs> i was like eating kind of snacking up until nine o'clock tonight which means that my fast is going to be pushed forward i probably won't be eating till about one o'clock today <clears throat> But I feel like my mindset wasn't in the game. I wasn't like, yeah, I'm going to smash this. So today, my mindset's in the game. I've been looking up all the amazing benefits of intermittent fasting, which has got me more excited about it. Because I think you need to know what it's going to do to your body in a positive way to really want to get on board. So, had a shower, washed my hair. And I feel like, you know when you have a shower and wash your hair and you're like, you kind of feel refreshed you feel like renewed um so here are some of the benefits of intermittent fasting so the first benefit is that it helps the body burn fat now this for me isn't about losing weight i'm not doing it to lose weight um i could probably lose a teeny bit of weight <laughs> but um if you are someone that's trying to lose weight it has been proven to be a really good way of losing weight the second um, benefit of it is it helps maintain muscle mass. Now, quite a lot of the time when you're losing weight, you lose muscle mass, but intermittent fasting has been shown to help retain muscle mass, which is great because we do want that definition, we want that muscle. Um, it's important not to lose too much muscle mass, especially when you are losing weight. The third benefit is it increases your metabolism. So it's actually been scientifically shown to increase your metabolism which is amazing which means that you will be burning calories and fat throughout the day without you even having to do anything small benefits that it has is it slows down aging it's also shown to reduce binge eating and also balance out your blood sugar levels which is really good so if you're someone that has moods where you're like really high and really low and you feel exhausted and you crave sugar all the time this might be something to try so it's got tons of benefits, it's really something that's been highly researched at the moment so I'll leave some links down below if you want to find out a bit more about it. But I was reading these over and I was like, you know what, it's amazing, like it's anti-aging as well, it's um, you know great for your metabolism, it's great for concentration, it's great for brain power, you know it's got so many benefits going on so I was like, yeah I'm going to do it. <laughs> So I've got some tips to make it easier because I think one of the hardest things is that you're changing your habits, right? You might be someone that has always woken up in the morning and had your bowl of cereal or your toast and then you're not doing that. Your routines are changing, which is, can be quite difficult. So my first tip to make it easier is to drink lots of water. So when you wake up in the morning, have a big, big glass of water, maybe cups of tea, whatever you fancy, just no milk in the tea, um, and drink that as much as you can. That's going to kind of fill you up, it's going to hydrate your body, which is often what you need first thing in the morning rather than food. My second tip to get through is to go for a walk. So if you wake up in the morning and you're like, I'm hungry, I, I need food, I, I need it, just go for a walk you know, walk it out, change like, change what you're doing in that moment. Don't just hang around the kitchen. That's always dangerous because your hands can just grab a cookie. <laughs> My next tip is to get enough sleep. If you're not sleeping right, you are going to feel more hungry in the morning. So make sure that you're having a good eight hours of sleep, ideally between 10 and 6 a.m. They're your best resting hours. Um, so when you sleep, more you will not crave as much sugar you will not turn on your hunger hormones you'll feel more rested you won't be eating to kind of compensate for your lack of sleep you'll be eating because your body is actually hungry and they're very different things my next tip is to build yourself up so if you're someone that maybe had dinner quite late at 
8 30 9 o'clock and then had breakfast quite early at like 6 a.m i wouldn't go straight from that into a 16 hour fast i would build yourself up so i would go for like a 12 hour so maybe 8 till 8 and then maybe 13 hours 14 hours day by day it's not about crossing the finish line it's very much about building yourself up and always checking with your body like does this feel right is this working for me because obviously you can read all of the published data that this is the best thing ever but if it's not fit, sitting right for you then i wouldn't do it you know i think it's one of those things where like we're all very different we're all bio individual and what works for me might not work for you so i think it's really important to give it a go but also check in with yourself is this working for me is it not obviously after one or two days you can't be like nah not for me you gotta give it a proper go which is i guess why i'm doing 10 days but really check in with yourself you know really kind of think you know is this sitting right for me does it fit in with my life because i just think that when it comes to living a healthy life it's got to be easy it's not got to feel like a chore it's got to feel natural so i think those are really important questions to ask yourself I've got another like four or five hours till I can eat, but that's okay. I'm going to drink some cups of tea, I'm going to drink some water, I'm going to tidy the house, I'm going to do some work, I'm going to just smash the day. <laughs> so I've made it, it's lunchtime and it's time to break my fast. So I'm going to be having a smoothie, which is almond milk, um, banana, protein powder, a little bit of coffee, some raw cacao, blended together. I'm going out for lunch in a bit so I'm just going to have a smoothie to fill me up till then. So we're just back from lunch and I forgot to bring my camera to lunch but I um, went out for Sunday lunch. I had um, some cod with new potatoes and veggies so really yummy bit of fish bit of potato bit of veggies standard British meal basically um, feeling good actually feeling not too hungry feeling um, yeah, feeling energized and good I think Seamus is eating something there we go. so for dinner I'm keeping it mega healthy having some salmon that I roast in the oven with some broccoli and then I'm gonna have some coconut yogurt with some honey berries and cinnamon for dessert mm -mm -mm. good morning it's day four and i'm feeling really good i think the best idea i had yesterday was to eat breakfast early so i had breakfast at about 6 37 finished eating around seven o'clock which means that i can break my fast a lot earlier today so i feel like that is the key to it breakfast early so it's morning, I've had some water, um, I'm going to go to bar call this morning and then I'm going to come back and break my fat ass. So I popped into brew for brunch and had some poached eggs with some smoked salmon and a salad keeping up my greens and then I'm heading to lunch with Millie to Jack's to have tasty feast. They always have like the best food there. Can't wait. So for lunch I went for the halibut with some broccoli and also an artichoke salad. So yummy. They always give you big portions of Jack's which is so good. So I'm home now and Shay has come down with her foot and mouth disease so it's been a long day I've been looking after him so I'm just gonna make a big bowl of pasta with pesto I'm using this really yummy cashew pesto and then for dessert I'm gonna have some baklava not healthy at all but I just can't say no to baklava baklava and croissants are my favorite naughty things <laughs> So for lunch I'm having a egg muffin um, which is like courgette, courgette with a baked egg inside, so delicious and then avocado on toast 
And then for dinner, I had a really yummy goodness bowl with salmon and avocado and veggies. Just, you know, up my veggie content. Day six, guys, and breaking my fast with some peanut butter. Mm -mm -mm. So good, look at it. Oh. Day eight of intermittent fasting. Um, this morning, I don't know if I woke up hungry or if I just woke up wanting that comfort. I think it's hard to sometimes differentiate the two things, you know, when you like want something, but you're not sure if it's just like you want comfort or like that kind of love or satisfaction of food or whether it's actually that you're hungry. So I'm unsure about it, but I did wake up being like, would love a bowl of porridge right now. Um, but I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna keep with my eight eight week not eight week well maybe eight week um 10 day challenge of this um i thought i would check in with some of my things i know i'm going to do like a full rundown um at the end of this on 10 days but um i have to say my digestion has been so much better i was doing things that aren't good for my digestion yesterday which was like eating on the go because i was doing some cooking um videos and recipes and stuff on my blog which I often am tasting while I'm eating uh, tasting while I'm cooking <laughs> and um, I noticed that it didn't affect my digestion as much I definitely noticed that my belly is less bloated um, energy levels haven't noticed that they've like skyrocketed um, however I haven't been feeling exhausted or anything so we'll see I guess it takes time for these things to all kick in too. Yay, it's 11 o'clock, I'm breaking my fast, got some oats <laughs> and some cashew milk and it's so freaking good in my coconut bowl. It's day 10, I made it, Woo! I am breaking my fast today with some beef meatballs, with miso and yummy veggies like carrot and ginger lentils so epic um i didn't vlog the last few days because not much really changed i thought i wanted to do a big summary at the end on day 10. Woo! um i'm really excited that i kind of made it through 10 days i i am a determined person but i definitely can go sideways especially when it comes to food and I do love my breakfast um overall the kind of things that I wanted to monitor were number one digestion number two energy um so let's go through them okay so digestion um this has really dramatically improved for me now I'm not just saying this because it's always good to be positive but I think this is the one thing that has transformed my digestion beyond beyond anything literally i've tried fermented foods i've tried probiotics uh relaxation meditation you name that i've done it but intermittent fasting has been the one thing where i just don't feel horribly bloated that is so cool because it is really hard being bloated all the time like it really gets me down and like it doesn't I don't feel sexy and I don't feel me when I've constantly got a bloated tummy so this has been really revolutionary for the fact that like my stomach just doesn't feel like I'm six months pregnant <laughs> um the second thing that I think has really um changed for me energy wise is that I think I'm sleeping better I slept really badly the first few days, but I've definitely definitely been waking up feeling more refreshed the last few days, which is amazing. I've got a nice six o'clock or sometimes five o'clock alarm from Shay waking me up. So it's good to feel refreshed when you're on little sleep. Will I continue to do it is the big question. I think that I will. I think I'm not going to be strict on it. I'm not going to be like, it has to be... 14 16 or whatever hours i'm just gonna be like i'm gonna take a break in the morning not eat breakfast when i first get up try and do the 14 to 16 um hours but you know what if i want to meet up with a girlfriend for breakfast i'm gonna do it and if i want to eat something i'm gonna do it because i don't believe life's about restriction i think that 
intermittent fasting is awesome i think it's really benefited me i think i'm definitely going to continue it but in a kind of more flexible way because i think that's what life's about it's kind of about finding things that work for you but also that fit into your everyday life um so i want to hear from you guys do you like intermittent fasting have you tried it do you want to give it a go has this vlog made you be like oh yeah i want to beat that blow and <laughs> try intermittent fasting um leave a comment down below i always love hearing from you if you want to see more of these sorts of vlogs give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel it means so much to me when you do it i love you so much and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye